Hi friends, this is Naresh. Welcome back to my channel, Technical Talks with Naresh. So today we are going to prepare a video on how to install and enable the AD FDI plugins. Okay. So in my previous videos, I already explained you that what are the different types of an interfaces in Oracle Fusion, and this is the one of the type of an interface in Oracle Fusion. I already explained the FVDI process. Now, before going to start the ADFDI, we have to install the plugin for that ADFDI and then we can do the processing of ADFDI. So, in this video, first we are going to see how to install and enable the plugin, and in next video, we will start with the ADFDI. Okay. So before starting, just I have to say that if you are new on my channel, please like, share, subscribe my channel. If you want to learn the Oracle Fusion, please go through the Oracle Fusion playlist. If you have any doubts regarding Oracle Fusion or any of the topics which I mentioned in my videos, you can write me under the video into the comment section or you can also email me. So we will start with our today's topic that is how to install and enable the ADFDI plugins. Okay, so for that, I'm just going to the notepad and I will write some short steps over there. So I am on the notepad, I'm just writing here install and enable ADFDI plugin. So, what you have to do? So, there are different types of ways to install this Oracle ADFDI plugin. So, I'm just going to explain you all of them. So first, if it is already activated on your Oracle Fusion, then how to use it? So if it is already activated. So you can see I am on the home page of an Oracle Fusion instance. So here you can just crawl and find the option that is in tools. Okay, so here is my tools. I'm just clicking on tools and in this list you can find the option that is a download ADFDI plugin. Okay, so here I am not able to see anything that is a download ADFDI plugin. So what I have to do, I have to just click on this plus icon. So as soon as I click on this plus icon, it will redirect me on some other page where I can enable this plugin. So on this page also, we have to go to the tool section. So I'm just scrolling down. So it is uh, cache management fix set and here is the tools okay so here you can find that respective download adfdi plugin section but we don't have here okay if we already have there just you have to just check this checkbox in front of that respective plugin and just you have to go to the top and you have to click on this save and close okay so it will save and close and that plugin will automatically comes on your tool section on your home page so if first step not work for you so you can use that okay so if you the first step not won't work for you we have the second approach so what is the second approach activate the plugin assigning the role for assigning any type of role you have to go to tools again and then you have to go to the security console so i am already in the tools i will just go to the security console so my security console here is the option and i am just clicking on it so i am on the security console page then here is the option user so i am just clicking on user so you have to search for your user so i will search for my user so this is my user that is a development user so what we have to check here we the employee role is assigned to us or not okay so if the role is already assigned then no issues if the role is not assigned just you have to reassign that role so which role this is the role that is an employee okay and the role code must be the aura underscore per underscore employee underscore abstract okay so this role you have to assign but i already assigned this role to my user okay so I will show you how to assign this role. So you just have to click on this edit button. Then you will be on this screen and here is an add role. So in add role, you can add that respective role. Okay. By just typing over here. Suppose I have to get the employee. So I will just write here employee. 
so see here is an employee abstract role so if i select this one so it will come over here but this role is already assigned to me so that's why it is not coming i'm just reconfirming so i'm having this role that is an employee and the role code is an aura underscore per underscore employee underscore abstract okay so by this way you can assign the role also so i will show you the role details also so i'm just going to this role and i'm just finding that role that is an employee with this code that is an aura per employee abstract and i'm just clicking on that so it is came so here instead of this roles just click on privileges so it will give you all the privileges which this role is having okay so now you can just scroll down till the download option so there are a lot of privileges we are having for this role so but we need only one privilege and that is nothing but the download desktop integrator so i'm just scrolling down and here is a download desktop integrator so you can see it is there so we are having this in this role okay and which is allowed to download for this employee hierarchy and this respective role code the role code is also same so this is already assigned to my user okay so once you assign this one so what you have to do you have to just go on your oracle fusion home sc home screen just log out your user re-log in your user okay so i already log out from my user and also re-log in then again you have to go to the here the tools and then you have to go here click on the plus icon and get that role added as the same way which i told you two minutes back okay so i'm just not doing that and i will go for the third aspect so if this aspects also won't work for someone because sometime we are having the issue with the roles so it will also not work for few users so that time we are having the third and the last approach so what is this so download the setup from oracle support okay so how to download so just go to the browser log into your oracle support account and go here the patches and updates okay just click on this patches and update and here just patch number so what patch number you have to give so i will write on the notepad also patch number this patch number you have to give so i'm just going back to the browser pasting my patch number here and just click on the search button so this oracle c date patch will come over here so i'm just clicking on this patch and here is the option to download so i will just download this okay so i will just click on this it will ask me to download which file so i have to download this so just click on this so you can see that the download is started so that file will get downloaded in the format of zip just unzip that respective folder and you will get this three files in that so first one is an readme.txt so here is the installation process already given this is the just a exe that just you have to install on your windows so this is my setup so just i have to double click on this and i have to click on next 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 till the end i am not installing it because i already install it you can follow the step and you can install it so i'm just cancelling this so now your add-in is installed but it is not activated so how we can check that it is activated or not now go to your oracle fusion instance screen so i'm on the home page so here what you have to do you have to check the add-in so you have to check that add-in is installed or not so what you have to do you have to just go to any of the respective adf things so i'm just going to this payables and here is the invoices so what we will do by using the ADFDI, we will correct the invoices. So we will come on this invoices page. Then here is a note or task button. Just click on this task. And here is the option correct import errors. Just click on this. It will download one Excel file for you. So you can see that this downloaded. So once you open this Excel file, it will show you like this. Okay. So there is no data now. So just click on this enable editing okay so once you click on this enable editing you will get this excel but this excel is still blank we don't have the data so why we don't have the data because our plugin is not enabled yet so how to enable that plugin first so go to here files 
then after here is the options okay so this options will be there but according to your microsoft office version it will be some different that is an excel option or some option or something else so just click on this option then here is a trust center click on this trust center then trust center settings so then after you have to go here the macro settings and make sure first thing that this checkbox enable all macros and this another checkbox that is an trust access of the vb project object model is checked the second thing you have to check here that is an active x settings so it must be the enable and safe mode okay if the settings are not already there in your excel so do that then after go to this add-ins okay then after you can check that there is an any active add-ins now no so you can just go here and click on this com add-ins and click on go then after here is a checkbox that is an oracle adf 11g desktop integration add-in for excel so i will just click on ok so as i click on ok you will one pop-up will comes in front of you so what is this pop-up you are about to connect to the following application so this is my application url and do you want to connect it is asking me so i just have to click on yes so it will pop up me the login screen for my oracle fusion okay so i have to insert my credentials here so i'm just inserting my credentials so you can see it had started for some processing so it is processing it is downloading some data so this evoke action will take some time okay once the action will complete so you can see the data on your screen so you can see that previously the excel was an empty but now the excel is an filled with lot of data okay so we are having this invoices which are having some incorrect data okay so after the complete extraction it will also give you the messages also over here if there is an any type of an error while fetching this data so it will give you over here okay so by this way you can get records or data into your adf di excel sheets or spreadsheets then how to correct this data now okay so here is an some options that is an correct import logins and all so in our next video we will see that how to correct this respective data into this oracle fusion using adfdi please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you